G'day YouTube, it is VBlazed here from Seismic FPS and welcome to the video. So in this video you'll be watching another Halo Fire Forge tutorial, this one on Movable Bridge. Now, as you can see here is one I have prepared earlier and yes yeah, so the bridge is designed so that when you hit the, button, the terminal button the bridge can lower or extend up so it's either crossable or not crossable. So yeah, that's where it's crossable using the Warthog. So you hit the terminal, the bridge will lower if it's up, and it will go up if it is down, as I'll, you'll just see in a second. So now it's down, hit the buzzer again, when I'm ready, and the bridge will go up, like so. So that's how it works. So let's get in and show you guys how to make this. So first thing is first, I'm just going to show you what to use. So for these things that I've used, I've just used plain, simple walls in structures, walls, and then simple, and I'm, then you can just choose whatever size you want. I'm not sure what size I use, so I'll just show you the largest one you can use. This works fairly well with the thing, and yeah, so you know, just rotate it flat with the ground if you want to use it. Just by holding LT, sorry, holding RT after it's selected, so you can rotate it and then just move it down flat with the ground. So that's how you use them. The next thing you're going to, I'm going to show you is how to use the railings I put up. That's just in structures, bridges. Um, I think it's railings and then just heavy. And yeah, you can just put that to where you want, whatever size you wish. I'm not sure what size I used, but yeah, I ended up merging them together. And then for the bridge itself, I've gone ahead and used bridges, vehicles, and then just chosen the biggest one for this one, the demonstration I'm about to show you. Works pretty well. So, anyway, let's get into it. So first you want to select, I'm going to select both of them together, so this makes the job a little bit easier. Go into, um, you know, make a script, then you're going to add script. Now the first one you're going to do is go on power, State, you want to leave it on, and then you want to change the action to a rotate offset, and you want to put the pitch at about 55 degrees. I'm using 55, you can use 60, it's up to you. And then you want to change the time it takes to do this because the shorter the time, the dodgier it looks. The longer the time, the better it looks, but yeah, you don't want to be sitting there for you know 20 30 seconds while the bridge extends or lowers, although you can, depending on the map you're making. But yeah, the longer, it, the longer the time you use, the better it looks to transition. Um, so yeah, script two, you're gonna be going power offset, and you wanna put a vertical in. Now the vertical helps it stay, you know, flush with the side. You don't put the vertical in, it's not gonna be flush, and you want this to be roughly 0.5 of a second slower than your rotate time, just so it gets done a bit quicker. So that's those two. Then you need to put a third script in for when power state is turned to off and you just want to set it back to so position slash rotation reset so it goes back to its original position and you want to put this at the same time it takes you to do your rotate just so you know once again it looks fairly flush. Um, once you've done that you want to place your terminal which is in extras. Well, I like going into extras. What am I doing here? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm changing the time. Oh yeah, I jumped to Bravo. I didn't want because I've already used Alpha on the other script. That's right. Yeah. So you got to make sure you're running the right scripts. I mean, um, channels. So you're not, you know, doubling up on channels. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna hit, you know, unselect, deselect, unselect, deselect, just so it stays in position. And then I'll get down to doing the script. So you want to make sure it's still highlighted. Then you put the script on. And add a script. Then you're going to want to go on interaction, set power, or power set on Bravo. And you want to leave it at toggle. Then we'll go and test it. So the idea of this is to see which pitch is which. So the left hand pitch is right. That pitch on this side is right. The other side, not so much. And as you can see, the Z needs to go up a hell of a lot, so it's going to make it flush. So I'll turn it back so it's off again, and we'll fix this. So the right hand side needs to be changed as far as the pitch goes, it needs to be made negative, and the left hand side 
needs to get a change in the Z direction, as does the right. So to do this, you want to go into your thing, set this one to a negative 55 degree pitch, and then we need to make Z a hell of a lot bigger. I think I'll use like 10 to start with, it needs to be at least double that. So I think I'll try like 20, and yes, now we go into the other one, and change it to the same. And just make sure they are the same. Then we jump down, press X to interact. Now as you see, it's doing a little bit of a flop. That means the time's too slow, I mean too quick. I mean the time is too quick for making the movement. So we need to change the time to a longer time in order to fix that. And yeah, that's just going into your settings. And as you can see, the Z axis needs to be moved up a little bit still. Just so it's not, you know, hovering below the bridge. So yes, time needs to be increased and the Z axis needs to get fixed still. So I'll just quickly go and fix this up and we'll get on with it. So as you can see, there can be quite a long and painstaking sort of process to actually get the bridge functional. Then you've got to go back, re reassess what you've done, what needs to get tweaked and tweak it. This is probably the first thing that's actually, you know, taken a while to actually sort of get done after I've already set it up before. Because it is, there's a lot to it. There's a lot you've got to keep changing and making sure it's all good. Making sure the times, you know, of a decent sort of thing so you're not getting a dodgy sort of bridge and you're not making it take too long. You know, you don't want to take too long and you don't want it to be too dodgy. And yes, so now that I've got that done, I'm going to do a test with a Warthog and show you sort of how the bridge will affect the Warthog. Alright, so let's place this sucker down. And yes, let's get into it. So, I'm going to... Sh so we know the Warthog can get across, no worries at all when the bridge is flat. Now because I've double tapped X, this is what it will happen. So, this is something you got to keep in mind too. If someone goes and double taps it, like presses it quickly twice, it's not going to do anything. You've got to wait till it's finished its thing before you can even press it again. So yes, I pressed it, it goes up. Now I'm in the Warthog. Now, let's see if we can make this. Alright, so we jump in, and yes, let's give it all the throttle we can give it. And yes, there's no way you're going to make that. No way in hell you're going to make that if the bridge it's up. So you can only cross it if the bridge is down, and you can try and cross it if the bridge is up, and you'll probably die, depending on the level that the bridge is off from the ground. So you can easily make this a death trap. So yeah, it will be good fun. I'd like to test it to see what it would like had the bridge been like halfway. That would have been pretty cool, but yeah, wasn't going to happen. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It has been me, V Blazed. I'll catch you next time. Laters.